I don't know what was better last year or this year, but um, I don't know. With our bad pit stop, 10 spots, bad uh, adversity favor, so I'm upset with that, uh, especially so late in the race, but happy to rebound and contend uh, for a win. I don't know if the 42 being closer to me, pushing me up to 38 helped with that, but uh, I don't know. I felt we were catching the 17, and I don't know if I did my, my move too early or what, but um, I mean, obviously not going to run through them uh, DGR is so my brother to uh, FRM, and we built a lot of our trucks also, so I don't have many Ford partners out there, um, so we've got to uh, take care of the ones I have. Do you think you sent it too far into one of the last laps? Do you think you could have made a move in turn three and four if you held course and didn't drive it in too deeply? No, not at all, really. That was about where I was driving in all day. I just did a really good job of shutting my air off. And these trucks are, are just deadly when that happens. So, uh, man, I wanted that one really bad. Another fast truck just isn't not quite enough. And to crash each other or have a lot more of loss of momentum. I just really, I, I was better than them at a certain part of the corner, and then I come off the corner and I just flipped them away. The air bump was tough and dirty air, like I, I just couldn't build enough momentum really that we were just gonna side draft each other and hold ourselves up. So I thought the best shot we were gonna have was with the 38 kick shot at it. I feel fine. I'm almost tired everywhere else. I haven't really got to work out or do anything or really put weight on it, so I'm pretty winded. Anything looking back there for those last laps that you think you could have done at all? I don't know. Like, if we were a little bit better, I could have got there. And, um, the 17 was falling off a lot, but the 38 was just uh, it was way, way better. Um, it was uh, a little bit tough. Like I just, I really didn't suck up on the 38. I just kind of pushed him. So we just, we were both gaining on the 17, and uh, I don't know, maybe just run the top and try to build a little bit more momentum. Then clear the 38 easier, but I doubt I even get close. So with the wreck on the back straight away, do you expect some retaliation from John Bernie Michelle? No, this is his fault. I don't know. Anything different about the speedway this year compared to last year? Uh, no. I I thought that it would have moved around a little bit more with the resin, but I really didn't feel like it was really out there. We Every restart, we just peeled up the rubber um, and it just kind of reset the racetrack, and it was just hard to move around. Uh, obviously, you started third, finished third. How does it feel to get a full race in after it's, it, 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 it felt third, like we weeks. started third, restarted 36 twice, and then <laughs> back to third. But um, it was good to finally just finish. Uh, race and not have anything dumb or blow, uh, you know, blow a good finish or anything. Like we were able to kind of persevere and, and do what we had to do with a little bit of strategy to get back there. Uh, let's start with the uh, four wide situation. Walk us through it. Uh, you just—it's so hard to make those split-second decisions, right? You—you um, you obviously got a whole guy, a whole pack of trucks behind you. I had such a big run, and I, you know, you're at, you have, you're, like I said, you're at, you have that split-second decision to make that decision and I felt like if I lifted I was going to put myself in a vulnerable spot and so I had to take advantage of it. I felt like I was in there enough to stick with it. I felt like I was even with them. I held the bottom. I didn't make contact with them. I understand the wreck happened because of, of, the, of the move that I made but I feel like I've been on the other end of those spots, been put four wide before and that's just kind of a nature of truck racing. So I hate tearing up race trucks as much as anybody um, but I feel like if I was in that position again, I, I'd probably do the same thing. It's just it's just truck racing. They're pretty frustrated. Is that a situation where you might consider reaching out to explain your side of it? Yeah, I think so. I mean, Matt and I have talked before, and um, you know, I, I feel I have a lot of respect for him. Hope he does for me as well. Um, I feel bad about it, but like I said, it's it's just a tough position to be in. Um, no doubt about it. Like I said, I hate tearing up racetracks. So I apologize to everybody that got tore up. Um, you know, probably half that time we all come out of there unscathed and I pick up three spots, right? It just, it didn't happen that way. I hate that we tore up race trucks. I hate doing that. Um, I work at the shop every single day with these guys. Might want to got tore up. I would have been right there next, 
next to him fixing it. So, like I said, I hate I hate that it happened, but um, just a tough position to be in. I, I apologize for it. Dirty air seems so bad today. Is it a situation where it makes restarts even more pivotal? Sure. I mean, the easiest spots to or the easiest times to pick up spots are on pit road and on restarts. So everybody's being so aggressive. I, I felt like you know most of the guys in the field were in my position. Uh, they probably would have forced that move as well. So it's just it's a tough position to be in. Like I said, I hate hate doing it, but it's just sort of the nature of the beast. I think it was Zane Smith said it was kind of hard to pass out there. How was it for you? Did you have any difficulty passing or anything? It was tough. Uh, you had to have a good truck to fire um, just to be aggressive and be able to, to hold the bottom and make up spots on restarts. Once it got single fouled out, it was so hard to, to make time and to get runs on guys. Um, the top sort of um, once rubber got laid down, the top came in, and then it was really hard to pass. So uh, you really had what I feel like a five to ten lap window to really get it done, get passes done. And were you surprised you got through that four wide situation? Um, when I did it, I was prepared to back out. Right, if I would have been say at the 25's number, I'm in a vulnerable spot. But I was even past him a little bit. I felt like I could, I would drive him into the corner and get air on my truck to where. It didn't affect us, so I, I felt like I was in there far enough to where I was gonna come out of there with some spots. And I mean, that's just a, as you said earlier, that's just a move you feel like at that point in the race you have to. Everybody has to push there too. You know, I, I almost got put four wide a few laps before it. I made a quick move to block the 42. Um, he was gonna do it to me. Uh, like I said, it's they got bottled up really bad off of two, and I had such a big run. If I lift in that position, I'm I'm losing spots. Right? It's you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. Like I said, it's it's just the nature of this truck racing. I, I hate that it tore up trucks, but um, like I said, just a tough spot.